Oh, never mind old Gail. David says you've been very coy. Why can't people give it up for five minutes with all that? Well, you've been giving it all that for long enough. Yes, but I certainly know when to stop. Well, have a nice time then. Ooh. It's not Norris, is it? Oh. Hi, Lewis. It's Audrey. Audrey Roberts. Tonight's, um... <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I've just been struck down with a terrible migraine. In fact, I'm lying on my bed as we speak. I mean, as I speak. So, I am sorry. I'm going to have to cancel tonight. I can put a cheque in the pub... I know you're expecting me to ask you in, aren't you? It's just, well, I've just left a garbled message on your answer phone. It's funny, isn't it? Everybody always says answer phone messages are garbled. <laughs> Louis, the thing is, I'm really sorry, but I have just been struck down with the most terrible migraine. I'll get you a glass of water. We'll leave it five minutes and see how you feel. It's very common, these last minute jitters. It was after he'd brought me into the medical centre. Uh, she still persevered with him. Persevered? Oh, she's infatuated. Personally, I find her girlishness faintly embarrassing. She sounds like quite good fun. Fun? <laughs> no, I wouldn't call her fun. <laughs> and then there's this boat. Oof. Shall I get you another headache pill? Mm. Mm. Actually, do you know... I think I might just manage a small gin and tonic if you'd like to join me. Shall I, um, prepare them? Oh, would you? Of course. Of course, back then, we had a show for Brian. My word, he adored me. <laughs> oh. I had uh, quite a few admirers over the years. I'm sure you have. Oh, you. You're a very attractive woman. Oh, Lewis. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I bet you get that all the time, don't you? Lewis. I used to love that programme. Oh. What, you know, with his crosswords yeah. and that big old vintage car. Jaguar. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know, what are you talking about, then? Uh, Alf. Oh, yes, Alf. Oh. It's been 11 years, you see. 11 years to the very day, actually. And I went to the grave first thing. Beginning to look a bit old now, you know. Weathered. I suppose you do most of your trade with widows, don't you? And divorcees, too. Oh, yes, of course, them. Tell you what, if I ring for a cab and we get a move on, we could just about make that dinner. Well, what's left of it? I gather it's tarto citron for dessert, because I set the menu weeks ago. <laughs> There's a local cab firm around here, streetcar, oh, I think they're called. No, no, we won't use them rascals. No, thank you. No, I've got a very good firm. Just go and get the yellow pages. Lightweight. She said she'd be in. She's getting too old for two nights on the trot. Well, she was well away last night, mate, wasn't she? Anyway, where's Joe? On the internet. He's never off it. All right. What's she up to while shouldn't I ask? 
I don't know, but it's nothing like that, you cheeky beggar. Well, that's all it's for, isn't it? That and booking flights. Do you want another? No, oh, yeah, I'll get them. Kev, is everything all right? Uh, yeah, fine. She's looked a bit tired this last couple of days. So, no, 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 she's good. In fact, she was on uh, great form last night. Oh, is that Sal? Hey, she looked good last night, mate. Eh? For a woman. Midnight. Ooh. You're drunk. No, I'm not drunk. I'm just very, very merry. Good night, I take it. Gail, you should have seen us dancing. I mean, the highlights, the searchers, right? Don't throw your love away. Uh, 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 uh. Don't throw your... Oh, we were gliding. Mm. Honestly, gliding. But I'm still not allowed to ask. Oh, psh, no. <sighs> Sweetheart, the reason I've called in is to say... No, the reason I've called in is to say, um... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll get Joe to drop you. Oh. Joe! No, don't be silly. I can walk. Walk? Yes. Mm. It's all right. He's doing his exercises. His what? Stretches for his back. Oh! I've just remembered now. Why I called in was because I wanted to say that I would very much like to pay for you and Joe to go on honeymoon uh, as a wedding present from me to you. Well, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> and very generous. <laughs> but I'll wait till the morning before I book the Bahamas, shall I? Sweetheart, wherever you want, honestly. My treat. <laughs> well, whatever, whoever he is, I like what he's doing. <laughs> oh. Joseph! <sighs> Don't throw your, your love. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. I have said, don't worry about it. You just get over when you can. Yes. OK. Big kiss to Bethany. Bye, love. Bethany's got chicken pots, so they can't get to the wedding. Oh, you're kidding. You all right about it? Low-key, we said. As long as you turn up, that's all I care about. Oh, I don't think I've got hotels on. <laughs> I wonder how your mum's head is this morning. Uh, Lurching in here, offering to buy us a honeymoon <laughs> like some boozed-up secret millionaire. I think we can safely <laughs> assume that was the Pino talking. <laughs> you sure you don't need a new suit? Oh, I've got plenty of decent suits. Well, shoes and shirt, then, at least. I hate tricks in other shops. Yes, I know. There. List of all the places with sales on. That's half the legwork done. Blimey, they could have done with you in Iraq. Coffee? <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I got them black shoes I bought for that interview. They've hardly been worn. Get a new pair. I mean, I know we want to keep costs down, but we don't want to look like complete cheapskates. Besides, now this place is sold, we can breathe a bit easier. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll, uh, I'll look later on. Don't know why it's such a big secret, this fella that took you out. Will you be having your hair up, do you reckon, hmm? Oh, we could put a few daisies in if you fancy. Yeah, yeah that'll go perfectly with me six-page boys and 30-foot train. Just because you're doing this on the cheap, I prefer the term low-key. Well, it doesn't mean you can't do something nice with your hair. Is it someone I know? Oh, Gail, will you stop going Sorry. on about it? Hangover. I only had a couple. Bottles? Oh. How about some highlights? Oh, I... Yes, whatever you like. Well, you dance, I'm very excited. Well, all I care about is marrying Joe. Bit too long in the tooth for all the bells and whistles, don't you think? I'll put you some highlights in. How is he anywhere? He's fine. Excited. Selling the house will make such a big difference. Most of our problems have been about money. Oh, who's out? Yeah, I know, but Joe's a proud man. Hits him harder than most. It'll be such a relief just to start again. No debts, no worries. Mm -hmm. Ma'am. Did I say anything? He said, mm -hmm, in a very disapproving tone. Well, Gail, it's a big step. Selling the family home just to get Joe on his feet. For Richard, for poorer. Yeah. Well, for Richard, it'd be nice once in a while, wouldn't it? <laughs> Anyway, now listen about your honeymoon. I saw this lovely little cottage on the website in the Lake District. Surprised you remembered offering. 
I was not drunk. I said I'd pay for your honeymoon and I meant it. Well, that's very kind. Can't wait. No, we don't get too excited. It's just a little cottage in the Lake District in January. It's hardly wish you were here. It's a lovely gesture. Thank you. My pleasure, darling. Come on, turn round. I better do a skin test. Because this harvest honeydew plays havoc if you take your eye off the ball. Come on. Sean promises me this fabulous New Year's Eve in this club, right? Full of fit fellas, he said. Gay club. Yeah. When will I learn? You got a lot of attention, though, he said. Oh, ah, yeah. Never left alone. Half of them thought I were a drag queen. Other half thought I were Diana Ross <laughs> tribute act booked for midnight. <gasps> I'll be fuming. What did you do? Chain reaction. <laughs> Twice. And then all the bits I remembered from Ain't No Mountain High Enough finished off with split. You never did. Well, I were that bladdered by then. I tell you what, I don't care what they say about them gays. They know how to enjoy themselves, given oh, yeah. that. Dad? Uh, I think it's starting to rain. Oh, £2.50. See you. See ya. All set for Friday? Uh, I think so. Sarah's cancelled. Bethany's ill. Oh. oh, shame. But at least Nick's coming. You need me to do anything? Uh, I don't think so. Gail's got it pretty much sorted. Listen, you can have a look at them cabinets, could you, in the flat? One of them keeps them sticking. Yeah, of course. Um, any chance of a cuppa first? I'm, I'm parched. Of course, yeah. And then you can tell me all about how Friday is going to be the most magical day of your life. <laughs> One of the work tops has come loose as well. Uh, you criticise them, my craftsmanship. We don't have to want to stick. <laughs> Still no regrets about becoming a property dealer then? It's been a bit stressful. Well, they do say you should never mix business with pleasure. No, me and Jace are fine. Money's tight, but we'll be okay once we sell the place. Hmm, I know what you mean. Mm. See you later then, yeah? Bye, love. Bye. You've been avoiding me. Get your hands off me. Get out of my house. Always makes things more interesting. So get out! You owe me four grand. That's without the interest, which is rising daily. And you'll get it. We've sold the house, haven't we? How can you not read the sign outside? <laughs> That's not how it works, Joseph. I want a payment today. Or I might have to have words with your nearest and dearest. <laughs> Gorgeous little piece, your daughter, isn't she? I'll see you later. just need to extend my overdraft, that's all. I've told you we're selling the house, so a couple of weeks is all in. No, no, we haven't, we haven't completed yet, but it should only be a matter of weeks, the estate agent said. I've been a customer with this bank for the last 20 odd years, and you're saying you can't... Thanks for nothing. Yeah, okay. That's better me now. Bye. That was the estate agent. Sales fallen through. What? Well, no need to panic. I mean, the estate agent said that things like this happen all the time. In fact, they've already put the house back on the website. So we're back to square one? Well, I've said we don't want any more viewings this week. I mean, that's the last thing we need with all the wedding preparations. I'll just get out of these and we'll... Uh, we'll open a bottle of wine, eh? Right. It's not the end of the world, love. Selling a house takes months. You know that. Hmm. 
they give the agent a reason for pulling out? Well, I only spoke to the girl in the office, but it doesn't matter what excuse they make, does it? <sighs> my next life, I'm going to be an estate agent, sit on my backside, make a fortune whilst the going's good, and when it's bad, I'll employ some kid to ring people and say, Sonny, sales falling through. Well, at least we've had some interest. It's better than a lot of people. Because we're giving it away. Or trying to. It's better that they pull out now than down the line. Might be for the best. Gail, we put the house on the market because we needed the money. We still do. We might get a better offer. We didn't need better. We needed now. The girl did say that the market does pick up again after Christmas. Oh, well, if the girl in the office said that must be true. Whoopee. We're not going to let this spoil the wedding, okay? Absolutely. Mm. Stuff you need for the wedding. 100 be okay? Oh, you don't have to do that. Well, unless you want me to come and choose them for you? Uh, I have been dressing myself for the last 30 odd years. Yeah, I'll keep the receipt just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go pick up my wedding dress. Uh, I'll see you later. Mm, see ya. All right. Wanted if Sally fancy it coming across to the Rovers. Uh, I'm not having a hen night, but I wouldn't say no to a drink or two. I promised I'd cook her a meal, you know, romantic, couple of steaks, bottle of wine. Mm. Being somewhere nice. I yeah, know, just so. Never mind. Hope Joe's still doing that for me 20 years down the line. Hope we can still chew steaks in 20 years. <laughs> Perfect timing. Are you going to buy the bride a drink? Well, two conditions. You don't refer to yourself as the bride, and we don't talk weddings. If I buy the drinks, can I? Well, you can talk. I'm not promising I'll listen. <laughs> what do you mean, he's skiing? He's meant to be selling our house, not sliding down and out whilst our buyers pull out. Well, can't you just get back onto them, see if they might change their minds? Well, maybe you didn't try hard enough. <laughs> ah! The old sign's only falling off. I wish. The buyer's pulled out. Oh, I'm sorry. At least I don't get thrown out on the street for a bit longer. Well, as long as you're happy, David, that's all that matters. Let's hope you have a bit more luck with your flat. How's it going on the market? Well, we're just doing finishing touches and then crunch time. Get it valued and end up for sale. Do you reckon there's a profit in it? Well, there better be after all the work we've done. Sorry to interrupt. I don't suppose you remember me? I came to look at your house. Not had that many viewers that I can forget. I don't suppose you're still interested. Sadly not, it's too big. But I heard some mention of a flat. Yeah, you did. Newly refurbished to the highest of standards. Sounds interesting. But it's not on the market yet. It, it could be. Just one or two things need finishing up. Could have a look. It sounds like what I'm after. Uh, yeah, sure, when? Now? Now sounds fine with me. Wanna finish your drink? It will keep. <laughs> See you later. You look like a man that needs a drink. Here's your reason for coming here. Everything all right? Oh, uh, yeah, fine. Well, it might not be our lucky day, but it could be Tina's. Don't get your hopes up. I haven't taken her back. She's got somebody interested in the flat. Yeah? Yeah. Local came to look at ours before the woman put the offer in. Are you kidding? Oh, she's showing him round now. Is Jason there? I don't think so. Well, she can manage, I'm sure. Very impressive. Thank you. What price do you have in mind? Excuse me. Hello? It's me. Oh, come on up. Well, I need to speak to Jason, but we think about 80. Sounds about right. Especially the way you've done it up. Mm. Dad, this is... Sorry, I didn't get your name. Rick. Rick's interested in buying the flat. Really? Tina tells me you helped do it up. Top work. You think so? Did you want something, Dad? 
Uh, my wallet, I've, uh, I've lost it. Uh, any chance it might be here? Well, I've not seen it. Kite it away, I'm, I'm busy. Well, it'll only take a minute to look. You don't mind, do you? Carry on. Will you look in the bedroom? Did you go in there? I think so, to check the window. Oh, OK. Excuse me. What the hell are you playing at? Looks like your daughter's about to come into some money. No, no. It's a boyfriend. She won't make a penny. That's not why she tells me. Joint owner, she reckons. No sign. Sorry. Oh, well, must be in the house somewhere. Hi there, best get off. Might come back for another look. That okay? Any time. I work in the shop downstairs. Don't, don't, um, commit yourself to old. I wasn't. I'll be seeing you then. Thank you. Thanks. Bye now. Smell of the mints won't hide how homage you are from the missus. Get off me! Where's my money? Seventy quid. I need them. Let me explain the position you're in here, Joey. This, this doesn't even pay one day's interest. That's ridiculous. I'll be back Friday. That's my wedding day. Tell you what, then. There's a wedding present from your Uncle Rick. I'll let you off the hook. Hey, you won't owe me anything anymore. I'm not with you. It's fine. Little Tina's a much better bet. You go near her and I'll kill you! <laughs> Predictable to the end. If you don't want me or some of my friends calling on her, you know what to do, don't you? <laughs> Hi, love. Sorted for tomorrow. Can you want washing or ironing? Why? What's tomorrow? Ah, oh, somebody's getting married. Somebody is. Hey, Joe. Make sure you tell me, won't you, if you're going to leg it and leave a stud at the altar. Cos I'll film it for YouTube. I'm sure you would. Uh, bin's not been emptied. Oh, not again. Too full, lid won't close. Well, who's responsible for... David, do you know anything about this? Me? No. Give me a break. Well, somebody's putting extra stuff in it. Hello? Hello? Oh, Dad. Oh, it's nice to see you. So glad you could come. Oh, I had to come. I couldn't miss my own daughter's wedding. <laughs> what? You don't think it's going to be a last, do you? Shut up, David. And how's the groom? Not too bad. Just wondering what it's going to be like having you as a father-in-law. I will be, won't I? I hadn't thought of that. And what about you, David? You playing any part in tomorrow's ceremony? We hope not. He's an honoured guest. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, shall I? This is your wedding present, this. What? Well, shift all that rubbish you've been moaning on about. And how are you going to do that? Well, Black Bane Liners are still under the sink, aren't they? Uh, yeah. You're not just going to dump it. Of course not. Friend of Earth, mate. Now, I especially came early so you could set me to work fetching, carrying, making volivons, <laughs> blowing up balloons. Thank you. Everything's done. So sit down. I'll get you a coffee. Well, I'm relieved to hear that. All right. Morning. All ready for the wedding, then? Yeah, it's like we've got a standard routine. We've had that many of them. Mm -hmm. Well, let's be getting on. See ya. Yeah. Except it's not only me. Look who I brought with me. Oh, Nick. How lovely. Hiya, Mum. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. oh, you look more handsome than ever, <laughs> don't you? You say so. Good to see you, Nick. And you. So this is my other grandson, then, is it? Yes, it is, Nick. This is Ted. Now, he's your granddad, so I don't know what you're going to call him. Ted'll do nicely. Very glad to meet you at last. Yeah, nice to meet you. Gosh, things move quickly here, don't they? So you'll be back in the little bedroom, but that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, wherever. Uh, I'll take this up, shall I? All right, and then we'll all have a drink, shall we? Or is it a bit too early? Well, it's definitely too early. 
which will make it all the more enjoyable. Well, I'm supposed to be doing the colouring, but it won't hurt her to sit there for a bit. I shan't be long. I only have a bit of business to attend to. Where are you going? Not far. Hey, Joe. Hi. Um, can I have a word about this, um, this bar you're going to be opening? Yeah, sure. As long as you're not going to tell me you're against it. Against? No, no, in favour, definitely. Good man. No, I, I just wondered if um, there might be some work going, you know, uh, plumbing, uh, fitting out. It's the sort of thing I used to do before I got into kitchens. Well, to be honest, you're, uh, you're jumping the gun a bit, but... Yeah, there might be, yeah. Uh... Oh, great! That's fantastic. Uh, um, so, uh, assuming you are going to want me, do you think you could manage some sort of advance? Advance? For materials and such like. Are you asking me for money, Joe? Well, I just thought I could save you money if I had the cash there. This is a joke, right? Tell me this is a joke. No. Then if it's not a joke, it's a con. No. You expect me to give you a load of money just in case one day I might want you to do a bit of plumbing. Sorry, can you tell me, what have I done to make you think I'm soft in the head? Well, I'm sorry you see it like that. I... As opposed to what? You just walked in here and asked me for money. You have? Well, haven't you? No. It's, oh, it's OK. Just, just forget it. Yeah. Don't worry. Already have. Choose my own shirts, you know. How often do I get the chance to go shopping with my eldest son? Well, that is, unless, of course, you don't want to be seen with me. Oh, come on. See you, lads. Bye. Bye. Yeah. He's not like David, is he? And I'm not running David down when I say that. It's just they are so very different. Ted, can I ask you something? Hmm? Sorry, sorry, I, I, I was listening. It's just that uh, this is something I can only ask you whilst Gail's not here. Well, go on. You know, we're selling this place and, and looking to buy a flat. Uh-huh. And, um... All right, I'll be absolutely honest about this. No flannel, I, I, I'm just going to say it. Well, now I'm worried. Can you lend me £4,000 that I need to put down as a deposit on a flat that we found or that Gail set her heart on? It's just that if we lose it, we'll never find anywhere half as good. And I need to get the deposit on today. And, of course, you'll, you'll get it back as soon as we sell this place. What do you say? I'd just be so very, very grateful. Ted, I am forever in your debt. Well, I hope it's not going to be forever. Uh, no, no, it, it won't be. And, uh, like we said... You'd rather Gail didn't find out where the money comes from. What she want from me. <sighs> Thanks. Right, well, I, I won't come back in with you. Uh, that phone call I made, it was to the estate agents that are handling things. Uh, apparently there's, there's someone else interested, but it's ours if I can turn up with the deposit. Well, what's happened if Gail wants to know where you are? Uh, uh, just, just tell her I've gone for a walk. Um, Pre-wedding nerves. <laughs> I'll tell her. What? Oh, straight down to business, is it? Well, fine. I have other things I'd rather be doing as well. We agree. I owe you four grand. I give you that, and we're done right. And you've got it, have you? Whether I have or not. Four grand, yeah? Well, I'd have to go and set the books. <laughs> Do me a favour. Last book you read was Nottingham B. Here's four grand. Do you want it or not? Cash. In your hand. Now. But that's an end of it. We're straight. And you can forget about interest. You're not getting another penny. Uh -uh. I want to hear you say it. You're telling me you've done the maths and four grand makes us straight? OK. I believe you. Real are they these? You haven't got one of them little printing presses. I don't ever want to see you again. So, 
Be first this, wouldn't it? Me buying you a pint. Or do you think it's a significant moment, do you? Nothing will ever be the same again. No, Tina. Jason. Hiya. Oh, yeah. You all right? Hey, has he not got a girlfriend or anyone? Why are you asking that? Well, I imagine he's here for his mum's wedding and usually you bring your partner to a wedding, don't you? I, I suppose, yeah. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe he hasn't got anyone. And or communicate till they both turn up at the registry office at, uh, oh, I forgot what time. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock, you got that? I'll be there. Mm. Better be. Mm. Mm. Sleep well. And you. Bye. Oh, come on. Bye, Dad. I want an early night, even if you don't. Bye. Any last minute doubts? Only whether I'm good enough for her. I think that's probably a good one to have. Join me in a whiskey. Thanks. <laughs>